Alright, Mr. Palmer here, gonna knock out two quick videos for you on uh, networking. Okay, the first one is uh, about network media. Before you watch this, make sure you go to your notes on network architecture so you remember the difference between peer to peer uh, client server and also about the different topologies. Okay, uh, so network media, this one's for GCSE computing. Big question for this is basically what is the best network medium? Should be able to answer that by the end of the video. So from looking at network media, I will pretty much divide it into two categories. Okay, you got wired and wireless media. Wired media can be broken down into coax, Ethernet, and fiber optic for our purposes. Coax and Ethernet are both copper cable. Wireless can be classed as Wi-Fi. Bluetooth and cellular networks. Okay, I'm going to look at Wi-Fi and Bluetooth briefly. I'm not going to talk about cellular in this video. All right. So coax cable. Yeah, you've probably seen one of these uh, around the back of your television. All right. Or if you still listen to the radio, uh, you might have one of these plugged into your. Uh, if you've got stacks, one of these plugged into the FM aerial. Okay. Uh, coax uh, can be used for transferring data. Okay, it's got quite a, a wide range of bandwidths. Okay, uh, higher bandwidths do allow quite high, um, you know, uh, well, high bandwidth means that data's been a lot of data has been transferred every second. Okay, the advantage of it is low leakage. If you look at that picture really carefully, you can see that little white thing around the cable inside the actual cable itself. Right, that's like a plastic sheath that protects the cable. So, uh, as you know, when they have electricity running uh, through a wire. You also generate a magnetic field. If you're just running this wire along, for, for example, through some conduits, uh, it's touching the metal uh, pipe. It could be next to some guttering. It's going down the wall. It's got pins, uh, like nails, pinning it to the wall. Well, all of those um, metal things nearby would then therefore um, uh, degrade the quality of the data being passed, uh, the quality of the messages being passed down uh, through the cable, because they're metal and so obviously they will be affected by the magnetic field so um, these coax cables have high data integrity because they have a, a, a quite a large amount of shielding around the cable on the inside okay they also are very low cost these are old school in terms of computer networks all right although if you have a cable modem at home from virgin media you probably have one of these unless you're on fiber optic obviously one of these that um, come out um from the thing on the front of your house into your house and into your uh, your router okay now ethernet got two things there stp and utp okay stp shielded twisted pair utp is unshielded twisted pair so unshielded twisted pair looks a bit like this all right if you look at that cable you can see that there are um different pairs of cables Hence, and they're twisted together, so you've got a twisted pair. They have different rates of twisting. That means that you can see some of them are quite tightly twisted, some of them are loosely twisted. So they've got different rates of twisting, and then a the whole bunch of wires are twisted together as well to make one um, like twisted, uh, say, well, you know, uh, set of twists going through the middle of the cable. Okay, it's cheaper than STP. You'll see why in a moment. All right. However, it has greater attenuation than STP. So attenuation basically is where we're talking about the degradation of uh, the signal. If you compare this to coax, there's no shielding on here. So therefore, uh, the signal will attenuate quicker, i.e. that it will uh, degrade faster because the, there's going to be electromagnetic interference. All right. This is STP. If you compare this to the UTP picture on the other um side that you saw basically you can see that uh, the twisted pairs themselves are wrapped up um, in foil okay and they, well, it doesn't have to be foil there's different um, uh, materials that can be used and then the whole cable itself is wrapped up again all right this obviously um, is to shield the pairs within um, to prevent um, interference obviously the advantages of this is that, are that there's going to be less attenuation, so there's less degradation, and therefore your data is going to be uh, corrupted less quickly. However, um, the disadvantages of this are that you've got greater cost, um, and it's also harder to um, to uh, lay this cable because it's heavier. All right, uh, fiber optic. So fiber optic is another wide transmission method. This obviously uses light to transfer data. 
has very high bandwidth okay uh, copper cables um, if you're using copper cable to transfer phone calls I think uh, I remember reading you can get like 300 phone calls on a copper cable uh, whereas fiber optic uh, single fiber optic strand uh, can carry 31,000 um, uh, telephone calls and over a longer distance all right uh, over 200 kilometers whereas uh, copper cable um, you know needs a repeater every hundred meters or so all right because the because of signal degradation the signal needs to be boosted all right um, fiber optic the bandwidth uh, well UTP and STP they can be used for gigabit Ethernet all right which is quite fast a gigabit of data you got a gigabit of data coming down the pipe every second approximately okay fiber optic can you can have basically 10 gigabit uh, network set up right so it's much much faster in terms of well, much less time is needed for data transfer put it that way not faster but if less time is needed for data transfer because it has much higher bandwidth how uh, and the other advantage I said that uh, is a longer run before you, you need a repeater uh, with regards to using 10 gigabit Ethernet uh, you need a repeater every 500 meters compared to the example of the telephone call because you're not really you don't need those really high um, data transfer speeds okay the big disadvantage of this is cost if you're setting up a 10 gigabit ethernet network using fiber optic you're going to spend about uh, about 75 to 80 pounds or more uh, per terminal right per computer that you set up than if you were going to just use um, Ethernet, uh, Wi-Fi, right? You might have one of these uh, in the back of your PC um, if you've got a computer somewhere around your house, or obviously if you've got a laptop or those. You know the uh, antenna are built into the device nowadays. So Wi-Fi uses radio waves to transfer data. Um, we know um, quite a lot about um, you know the convenience of Wi-Fi. All right. Uh, basically uh, it's all quite easy to set up nowadays you know just turn it on find your network type in a key and off you go uh, it, you know the software operating system handles everything for you um, obviously mobility is a big thing you know while I've been working today I've moved from the dining table to the couch back to the dining table back to the couch again you know with with a wide network connection you're physically tied to a single location you can't move around all right Big disadvantage of this, obviously, we all know about security, about people being hacked in, you know, people listening in on your network, so on and so forth, uh, and range. Uh, usually with Wi-Fi, you've got about 20 meter range. Obviously, uh, if you're in a, a, a building with um, concrete walls, uh, you know, lots of brick walls, for example, and the signal has to pass through several uh, obstacles, it gets degraded quite quickly. All right. Also, speed is a big issue with Wi-Fi. We know that it's nowhere near as fast as um as a wired connection all right bluetooth uh is used to create personal area networks pan okay you might see them called a wpan uh wireless personal area network in comparison to um wi-fi which uses radio waves bluetooth uses microwaves all right um i can't remember the frequency so i'm not going to come up with a, a random number that's going to be wrong okay you can go look it up um, obviously Bluetooth is convenient for pan we you know it's with each successive version of Bluetooth has become uh, easier and easier to pair devices and to use them uh, you know Bluetooth audio and so on and so forth you know people are using them you got your fitness trackers and um, you know lots of different devices using uh, Bluetooth now uh, however Bluetooth has got very low bandwidth so um you know data transfer speeds are low uh, it takes a long time to transfer large files if any of you have ever involved yourself in music piracy and tried to send music files mp3s backwards and forwards uh, using bluetooth obviously it takes a long time all right the other thing i was going to say is security is a big issue with bluetooth uh, bluejacking is a common occurrence which is why we always advise students to turn off their bluetooth once they're finished using it so the big question is what is the best network medium yeah i've just talked about a whole bunch of different ones 
uh, I was talking about coax, ethernet, fiber optic, uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So what's the best out of the bunch? Obviously, the best network medium is going to be a pro the one that's suitable for the task that you have at hand. All right. Um, if you're just transferring, uh, for example, uh, video from your local cabinet to your home, you know, your cable operator is going to use coax, whereas they would use fiber optic from the cabinet into their main network because of the advantages of high bandwidth um, and cost, right, compared to the cost. Uh, Ethernet is used quite commonly in uh, our networks, uh, generally when we have wired networks in uh, companies, but we will go for UTP and not STP because of the cost benefits, all right? Um, the other thing I forgot to mention there with Bluetooth was the range. Bluetooth has a range of about 10 meters. Uh, you can test this out at home. Set up a pair of two Bluetooth devices, leave your phone in one place and then walk away from it and see how far you get before you lose the connection. All right, thank you very much and watch out for the next video on uh, network devices, networking devices.